Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about this whole Jackie Chan situation. So a lot of you guys have been tagging me in this. If you guys do not know his daughter, her name is Etta Lam and she's 18 years old. She recently came out last year stating that she was gay. She's also in a lesbian relationship with a woman named Andy Autumn. So recently they took to Facebook to basically go in and say that their parents were being homophobic and that they were kicked out the house and now that they're homeless, they can't find anywhere to go. Um, they don't want to go to a show because the shelter is going to separate them, make them sleep in different beds. They're literally like reading from this letter. They're talking about PTSD. It's just a bunch of bullshit. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Now y'all just watch that damn video, okay? First of all, I'm going to need both of these entitled ass bitches to have several damn seats, okay? First of all, if y'all don't know, Jackie Chan came from a lowly background. He worked his ass off to get to where the hell he is today. And he's not about just giving his kids money just to be giving them money. And on top of that, him and this young girl, they have no relationship. But the truth tea is this. What a lot of y'all don't realize, why y'all are saying that Jackie Chan and his family are homophobic, what a lot of y'all don't realize is that the truth tea is that Andy Adam, the woman that's sitting there crying and begging for money with Jackie Chan's daughter, that bitch is 30 years old, okay? Okay? And from what I've researched, they're saying that she was the teacher of Etta and basically she turned Etta out. You know what I'm saying? Basically, she began having an affair with Etta when Etta was only 16 years old. So she got with this girl when she was underage, played with her head. They're also saying that both Andy and Etta are on drugs. And that's the reason why the family does not want to deal with them or support either one of them because they have drug habits. You know, my thing is this. I hate the fact that they're trying to use their homosexuality as a way to guilt people into sending them money. If you guys send these two chicks money and they're both healthy and capable of working, that's on you. But I'm not going to send them a damn dime, okay? This has nothing to do with homophobia. This has to do with two women, one who is very fucking grown, wanting to basically mooch and live off of somebody else's money. They basically want Jackie Chan to fund their lifestyle, to feed them, to clothe them, to give them housing. Why does he, why is he obligated to do that? Once a child turns 18, you're not really obligated to take care of them. If you choose to keep taking care of your child, that's great. But at some point in time, you have to grow up and be an adult. And if you want to be grown and have your girlfriend in the house and y'all lay up and having sex, y'all can afford to pay rent. Both of y'all can get up and get a damn job. I don't give a damn if they were gay or straight. I'm sorry if the genders were reversed and this was a straight couple, if this was a straight male and an 18 year old girl, and they're literally sitting there bitching that the little girl's father won't fund their lifestyle, no one would be excusing this. They'd be going off on that straight male, like you need to go get a job. If you wanna be with her, you need to take care of her. This is a woman. If you wanna date this young girl, then you should be able to provide for her, okay? They both should be able to provide for themselves, but I would definitely expect a 30 year old to at least be able to provide for the both of them. I mean, this is ridiculous. How can you lay up in somebody's house and expect them to clothe and feed you and give you a roof over your head as if you're a child? Both of y'all are grown, but especially this grown ass woman. You know, the, just the gall of people and the fact that they're trying to use the LGBT to, you know, to garner sympathy. I'm glad that most people are seeing through the bullshit and they're not buying it. If you guys go to the video on YouTube, there's a shit ton more dislikes than there are likes. I think there's only like 77 likes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is disliking the hell out the video. Nobody owes you shit in life, honey, okay? Do you know how many teenagers in the LGBT community get kicked out of their homes every day and they're not making videos saying, whoa, it's me. I need you to help fund my lifestyle. They're going out and they're getting jobs and they're getting their own apartments and they're trying to make their own way through life you know this is just insane to even see this happening like I said if this was a straight couple if this was a 30 year old man literally on camera begging for money from his girlfriend's father no one nobody in the media would sympathize with this bullshit the only reason why the media is even trying to run with this story and sympathize with them is because they're both gay I don't give a damn, gay or straight, get your ass a job, get the hell out your parents' house, and go do something with yourself. Instead of sitting on the internet trying to shame people to fund your lifestyle and trying to shame Jackie Chan and drag his name through the mud. You know, she's saying that her father's homophobic and that's not why he's helping her. I think the bigger issue is the fact that you're fucking a 30-year-old female and she's doing nothing for you. 
I would not want to support a grown woman who cannot take care of my daughter, let alone herself, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Jackie Chan's daughter, basically begging the internet to help her and her grown-ass girlfriend with the cost of living, food, and everything else. Do you agree with me that they should both get up and go get a job and take care of themselves and stop relying on daddy's money? Or do you feel like the LGBT community and everybody else owes these two people something? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss Gay! <laughs>